Hey y'all, today we're going to work on uh, Ocean City 310 spinning reel. Oh, you can see that, that's good. It's a really old reel, <coughs> and it's really dirty. Anyhow, let's get started. I'm going to remove this screw here to get the spool off. And now we can unscrew this. This is the drag tensioner. This came from the top part. And let's get the uh, drags out. Okay, <clears throat> and to remove this black piece here, you need to press in on this, and let's do it on the table. Press in on this and push down, like so, and out it comes. It was dirty. And that's it for this. There's a drag washer on here somewhere and a spacer. Okay, next we'll remove the handle. Unscrew this knob here. <coughs> and we'll have to undo this nut that's on the side. You can unscrew that. straight out and you can also break this handle down into pieces by unscrewing this that comes out and you can also take off the knob Now to remove the <coughs> excuse me to remove the spool we have to remove this nut right there this comes up that's for the uh, the bail spring or for the bail get this piece out and now we can work on taking all this stuff apart to remove the low the roller you have to unscrew this and then we can unscrew this here like this so we can do it easier and the line roller just comes out like that and to remove this side we're going to take off this screw here we can pop out this there's a little spacer here that's made of some rubber or plastic material you can pop that out just gotta be real careful with it and to remove this the bail arm we have to remove a pin that's in here that's through the bottom. Where's my pin tool? It's right in that hole there. There's the 
pin. And now we can pull this out. Just be careful with this stuff. Work this. metal piece here out as we go like that and now we can release the tension off of this and just pull it out. There's obviously this bushing that came from inside this hole and that's it for the rotor and the bale assembly. All right now we can open this up and the way you do it is these two screws here. And here pop those out and it comes up like this and we can remove this spacer right here let's get our shim off of this thing here And to remove the, the block, rotate it. So it's a little tricky, I don't know why. I'm gonna rotate this where this pin is sticking up. Let's get it down like this. Come on. It's not that hard. Let's see where we're set. Yeah, we are. And then you can push it straight out. Like that. You can take out the main gear first. Put that back on there so you can see where it came from. And now you can take out the pinion. This came off of here like that. And all we have left to do now is the anti reverse. And I start with this part. I don't know if I should start with the other way or not, but this is the way I start it. Just unscrew that. Next is a washer. The dog itself. The spring for the dog. And to get the rest of it out, I'll unscrew this lever here. Pull it straight off. And then we can pop that up. Then we have this one spring left. That comes off like that. Let me make sure I don't miss I didn't miss anything for you guys. So yeah, there's a bushing inside here or a liner inside here. And I thought there was something else I missed somewhere, but Maybe not. Okay. So that's how you break down uh, Ocean, Ocean City 310 spinning, spinning reel. Get it all cleaned up and I'll come back and show you how to put it all together. Okay, we're back. Let's put this reel back together now. 
Uh, I already put in the uh, this piece on the side here. So now we'll just have to put the rest of the pieces together. Let's start with the spring. Let's get our pieces out here. All right, so the way this is gonna sit is this bushing goes inside here like this. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil inside there. We're just gonna take this bail arm, stick it through. That feels good. Then we're gonna take our spring and it'll sit just like this. Like that. It goes inside this little slot right there. Just take your time with it. And then we'll have to add tension to it once we get it in, in place. Okay, so that's set like that. Now we need to add some tension to this, so we'll do one full turn. Pull it out slightly so we can get this pin in. You gotta hold on to this lever, I'm sorry, to the bail arm while you do this. And the way that's gonna sit is the indented point will be facing down or facing through that hole in the bottom. Rest it in there, push it against. See if we get it in one shot. I'm pushing this against the groove. There we go. That should work. And now we just find the, the hole for it and just push it in. Where's my hole? That's why. And now you're set. Well, let's not do too much so it falls out. Okay, now we can put the pin in. Add just a little bit of grease right there to help it slide in easier. Now we can just push down on it to get it all the way in. So it's flush. looks good. Now we can take our this end of the bail arm and get that screwed in. Before I get to all the way down the bottom I'm going to add a little bit of oil there as well. Just a drop of oil inside there. Now we can tighten that down. You don't want to make this too tight. That looks good. Now we can take our little pin or our line roller, add a little oil in there, just drop it in. Take our pointed end of this stick it through inside the pin or inside the line roller and just screw it in. Now we can take this portion, stick it inside the bail arm and then screw it in place. And that's it. I'm gonna add a little bit of grease to this because it's gonna be riding against the uh, the brake on the um, where is it the main housing this brake point here to trip the 
trip the uh, the lever or the bale. We'll finish the rest when we get to the <coughs> to the housing. Okay, so let's do the the spool and the assembly. Okay. So we get this bottom piece put in. We don't need to add any uh, grease or anything to this. Just push it straight in and you're going to have it Let's see if I can show this. Push it straight up where that prong sits over that clip right there. Now we can stick our wrong piece. Stick this piece through. Put our two washers on there. The uh, matte one will be on top. Stick it in place like that. And now we can screw this in after we put our washer in. Uh, I'm going to change the washer out on this. It came with this drag washer. I'm going to use a slightly smaller one, but a HT100 washer, which will be this. Even though the size is a little bit smaller, it should still be as effective. So let me go ahead and add some drag grease to this. All right, so on with the washer. On with the metal washer. It's keyed, so you have to make sure you're lined up properly. That looks good. And now we can take our spring, tension spring, and our tension knob. Screw that in place. It's going to be good. Let's leave that off for a sec. And we'll put this washer to the side. Okay, so now we can do our handle. I'm gonna add some grease inside here. The handle will sit just like this. Notice there's a, it's grooved on two sides. You wanna line that up with the inside of the, uh, the handle and just screw it down. If it doesn't sit flush, then it's not proper. So it's just, it should sit flush just like that. Now we can take this and put this on. I'm gonna add some oil here. Stick that through the knob and screw that in place here. Okay, let's do the anti reverse. Okay, first let's put in the liner, like so. Then we're going to get our screw, which is this one. And we're going to get our piece here and get that set inside. Where's our spring? Oh, here it is. Before we do, we have to put our spring on. And it's gonna sit just like this. Make sure it's over that 
groove on that side. That looks good. Let's see if we can drop this in place. And that spring is going to sit in between that channel right there. I'm gonna hold on to this while I screw this in. That looks good. I'm gonna add some grease inside here. Now for this one, or this spring, we're gonna take our bent end. Uh, can you see that? And that's gonna to sit towards the bottom. I'm sorry, towards the top. And the bottom piece is going to rest on that base right, right there. Now when we put our drag knob, I'm sorry, our uh, dog on, we're going to have that little hole right there go right over the the tip of that spring. Like that. And it'll sit just like that. Let's make sure we have it, and we do. Now we can take our washer and our screw and get that set inside okay i can lightly brush this dog again and let's make sure it works and it does which is good okay let's do a main gear and opinion okay let's go ahead and increase the main gear up make sure you grease inside this groove right here and also in this hole now we can just take that and drop that in there and stick it through the hole Oops. Hold on. Make sure we put on this space around it, or this bushing. Drop it inside the hole, if you can find it. Let me add a little bit of grease right here on the back side of this. You have to put this in before you put in the uh, the pinion gear. Now you can stick the pinion gear in. Did I get that wrong? Sorry. You want to put in the pinion gear first. Then you can put the main gear in afterwards. Like that. Now we can take this grease this up make sure you grease inside here because that's where the uh, the handle is going to be riding on put 
turn the knob on there. Add a little bit of grease to this as well. And then just shove it up from the bottom. Like this. When you get to this point, simply turn it in and you're good to go. Final step here would be to put this. Uh, let's get this turned in first. Hold on. Put this bar in. Just drop some place like that. And now we can close this up. Let's get our backside. In. and let's screw this in place the long screw goes on the bottom the shorter one goes on top and we can stick our hand on the side uh, to stick the hand on the side you want to make sure you see a complete hole or space all the way through the handle is also grooved so you want to make sure it fits inside flush so turn it until it sits flush like that. And then we can add our nut. Mm, that's a lot. Let's wipe that off. Now we can add our cap. the rest of this put together let's get our washer on there so it's just like that stick it through like that and then we're gonna put this piece in this piece has some knobs on one side the knobs will be facing up See those knobs on the end there? And this is also keyed. And now we put this piece on that holds the uh, holds the um, the trip for the bale. And they, they need to sit on those grooves right there, those knobs on that base piece. Now we can screw this in place. And when you get close to the bottom, just raise this bale up slightly so that it's not putting pressure on this plate. Because it needs to stay in those slots. Put our spool on there. Get that piece in. It'll be facing down. Uh, let's see if I can show you this one. It'll be sitting just like that. Get our knob in there. Lock that in a little bit. Okay. Perfect. Anyhow, that's how you put together a Notion City 310 spinner. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the love and the subscriptions. Don't forget to spread the word. And until next time, stay safe.